Throughout the spring, summer, and fall months, Lake Washington offers a wide variety of fishing opportunities. But what you may not know is that there's 29 public fishing piers around the lake that offer the opportunity for shoreline anglers to access these fisheries. Now we've recently put together a guide that highlights all 29 public fishing piers and right on the cover there's this handy map that shows you where they're located. And inside this guide you'll find information on amenities including ADA accessibility, parking and restrooms, as well as some pier characteristics including fish habitat and the maximum depth at each pier. During the spring months, these shallower docks may be productive as fish movement onshore to spawn. As we get into summer, warming water will push a lot of fish species deeper, making the deeper piers your best bet. So enjoy this short video. A special guest, Sebastian Chick, shows us the finer points of catching fish from Lake Washington's many public fishing piers. There we go. Oh, that's a pretty chunky perch. Here, my favorite eye dock of all time. Right across the street from my grandma's house too. So caught that off with a little plastic, tipped off with worm. Cute little guy. So I wanted to take a quick break from fishing real fast to explain what rig I'm using to catch all these perch around Lake Washington around the docks. And all I'm using for, it's really simple, all it is is just a crappie rig along with a short leader to a long shank size 6 hook with a little bit of plastic and then it also has tipped off with worm. And I have two different colors and presentations so that I could get a feel of what the fish are biting, at, biting for. And I have a half ounce weight at the bottom. And where you're casting at is you're casting from the transition between the weeds to the deep end because what the fish like to do is like they, they like to go into the weeds to uh, kind of hide around there and then they like to go into the deep end to feed. And that transition right there is where you catch most of your fish around the docks. And especially right here at the eye dock, it's a major sweet spot and highway for fish. That is a nice perch. Here at Mount Bigger Beach Park at the Y Dock. Oh, he just barely took it on the top hook on the crappie rig right here. Nice little yellow perch. And remember, I've actually tasted yellow perch and these are tasty little fellas. So you can bring them home by the bucket load and they're just as good as rockfish out in the ocean. They're like the mini rockfish of the lake. I can't believe it. I can't believe we have the whole dock to ourselves. Just me, my pole, and the little fishies in the water. There we go. That's a nice fish. He's giving a couple head shakes. That is a darn nice bluegill. Look at that. Here, right on this dock at Stan Sayers Park. Nice chunky little bluegill. Still really good eaten. Same with the perch. That's a cute little guy though. Here's our next spot. Oh, that's a toad. Oh, he engulfed that jig. Dang. So another technique that we're using to catch perch or even bass out here on Lake Washington is just a simple drop shot rig. And all you're using is a size two drop shot hook with a three inch finesse worm. And you wanna use natural colors for more clear water like it is right now. Or you can use more brighter colors for when the water's more murky. And I have an eighth ounce weight on the bottom. It's a drop shot weight. Or you could use a fourth ounce if you're using, in, if you're using it in more like heavier winds and stuff. So where you want to ca cast it at is the same place that you'll want to cast it for perch for the crappie rig. You want to let it hit the bottom and once it hits the bottom you want to make sure that you have a tight line and slowly twitch it because the slightest of movements from your pole will make that worm shake like crazy. And sometimes you can even catch the biggest of fish on this. Look 
that smally. Oh yeah! Oh no, no, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. One, two, three! That is at least a two pound smallie right there. Right off the boat launch. Look at that, he engulfed it too. He just peeked his head out right from another dock and just ate it. That is a nice smallie. Thank you for watching this video and joining me on this adventure. I hope you guys learn lots of new techniques and places to fish along Lake Washington. And always make sure to be safe while fishing along these piers and docks. And have fun fishing Washington.